Flaps are secondary control surfaces mounted on the trailing edge of the wings. They are primarily used to accommodate safe, slow flight and to shorten the takeoff and landing distances on the ground. There are several flaps designs found on light aircraft. This is the plane flaps design. Compared to a flaps up configuration of an aeroplane flying at the same airspeed, with flaps down the wings camber increases, the cord line alters and makes the effective angle of attack larger. This results in the lift vector rising and moving slightly backwards. With flaps down, the aircraft may also fly slower, yet generate the same amount of lift as with flaps up. With flaps down, the stall speed is lower, allowing the aircraft to maintain a safe level flight at slower airspeed. As this graph indicates, the wing's ability to generate lift increases with flaps down. According to the lift formula, greater ability to generate lift translates to a lower stall speed once the stall angle of attack has been reached. The flaps down configuration assumes an effective angle of attack that is relatively larger than the actual flaps up angle of attack. So the aeroplane will stall at a lower nose attitude with flaps down compared with flaps up. With flaps down, the aircraft is able to maintain lift at lower nose attitude. This means that the pilot gets improved visibility down below, which is especially handy when landing. Some other flaps designs found on light aircraft are split flaps. These are hinged below the wings. When extended, they increase lift, but also cause a lot of drag when compared to the plane flap design. The drag is due to the extra disturbance of the airflow around the wings. Slotted flaps are similar to plane flaps, except for a slot that allows the higher air pressure below the wings to flow up through to the lower air pressure above. This helps the airflow remain attached to the flap, thus increasing lift. Fowler flaps are similar to slotted flaps, but they move back and down when extended. They increase the effective wing surface area and camber, resulting in more lift. Of course, there are more complex flaps designs found on larger aircraft, but we'll look at those another time.